Hey guys, it's your boy back again with another video, and this is episode one of the Death Sector Mobile Gamer Podcast. And we're gonna start where else? From the beginning. Okay, so I had a lot of people ask me why I like mobile gaming. It's easy, it's cheap, it's affordable. Most of the best games are free to play games, but we're not even gonna go down that rabbit hole. The reason I like mobile gaming is more about retro gaming than mobile gaming. As you can see from a lot of videos that I actually do on my channel, I'm a retro gamer. And emulation is good as gold. Now you've noticed how powerful mobile phones have been getting. You can play games from the Nintendo Switch on your mobile phone. With cloud gaming, you can play games, current games that are on the Xbox series of systems and the PS5. You also can play games on GameCube, or should I say games from the GameCube, games on the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PSP, DS, 3DS. Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, SNES, NES, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, Sega Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, Main. I mean the list goes on. So that's why you'll see a lot of my games are actually older games on my channel. That's what I like to do. It all started. You know what? Let's be honest. It all started with me trying to be cocky. I had a friend talking about how good their iPhone was. And I'm like, man, I don't want to hear that mess. Shut it. Shut it. Shut it. <laughs> you know, my phone does this iPhone. I'm like, man, yeah, but can you do this? And I started going emulation. Now I have a complete emulation setup all powered by my mobile phone. But let's go back even further. Originally, what started my game loving journey. I remember when I was a kid and I used to go over to my aunt's house and play with my favorite older cousin. And I remember they had the NES. See, I'm showing my age now. This had to be the early 90s, late 80s. I remember playing Mario. Fell in love with it. I remember playing Punch Out. But my favorite game back then was Excite Bike. Now you look back at those games now and you take off your nostalgic glasses and you're like, man, why did I even like this? <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. But back then you couldn't tell me no different. I was like, wow, it's so realistic. I can do this on my bicycle. <laughs> and ever since then, I was a video game fanatic. I loved video games. I loved escaping into another world. Also known as Isekai. Shoot, it was my escape from a world that I didn't want to be in. But that's a story for another time. But like I said, man, I loved playing those games. And I still remember my first video game console was actually the Atari 5200. I remember my mom got it for me. It was actually pretty fun. I can't remember the games I had on was a Galica. I even had that trash ET game. Oh my god. Oh lord. That game, I'm not even gonna say single handedly, but if you don't know, the ET game was so horrendous that it almost led to the demise of gaming. Tell me that's not crazy. 
that's how bad that game was. We have a game that actually almost leads to the end of gaming. So I don't want to hear these modern people talking about how the frame rate sucks on the new Pokemon. Which, by the way, I've never played a Pokemon game and I refuse to ever play it. I, I think that's a... I'm, we're not going to get into that. But yeah, that game was horrendous. And then we had a guy in the neighborhood who was selling his Sega Genesis. And for my birthday, my mom actually brought it for me. So I got the Sega Genesis, two controllers, and 50 games. Now, I can't tell you all 50 games that came with it, but I can tell you the ones I remember fondly. Street Fighter 2, of course Street Fighter 2. Everybody back then had to have Street Fighter 2. I had <laughs> Bulls vs. the Trailblazers, Bulls vs. the Celtics. This is back before we got those yearly release games. You know, like Madden every year with a roster change, but y'all keep playing for it. 2K with a roster change, but y'all keep playing for it. Back then, we had Bulls vs. something. I was never a sports game fan. Oh, I take no ball, but I was never a sports game fan. I mean, you can play sports in real life. I like the games that let you escape. But I can remember like it was yesterday. Playing Street Fighter 2 with my big brother. And him always winning, then laughing at me. And I'm not gonna lie, this is the funniest thing in the world. We laugh about it now, but I remember I was younger and he beat me in Street Fighter 2 and was laughing at me, man. I look, I was hot, boy. I was candle wax hot. And he kept laughing. Oh, and before I realized, I had reached over, grabbed the broom, and smacked him across his forehead with it. He looked at me and said, You little monk. Before he got the rest of that words out, I had ran and locked the door so he couldn't get to me. <laughs> I tell you what, we ain't play no games after that. <laughs> but he never laughed at me ever again. See, that's the crazy thing. So I don't know how this whole podcast is going to play out, but I think I'm going to do one every Saturday. Maybe bring on some guests next time. So, yeah. I had the Sega Genesis for a while. Then I remember my cousin, they got the Super Nintendo. And man, look. Me, my cousin Leroy, my cousin Kent, RIP, and my cousin Jesse would sit there and play Killer Instinct on Super Nintendo all day long. And I remember my Aunt Rosie come in one day, told us, y'all need to go outside. One sit in the damn house all day, play that damn Indian do. <laughs> and I would never forget that shit in Dindu. Yeah, man. For real, those were the days. And after the Super Nintendo, of course, moved over to the Sega. I mean, not the Sega, Lord. The Sony PlayStation. Now, my brother had that. But he let me play it sometime. And, of course, my cousin Tony. That's when I really got to play the PlayStation whenever my cousin Tony would come home to visit. Like when we had um, family events like Christmas dinners and Thanksgiving, he would always come home and let me play his PlayStation. And I remember when my brother got his. Man, and look, I remember my favorite game from the Sony PlayStation has to be well, my favorite game that I own. I'm not going to say my favorite game of all time for the PlayStation, but was Need for Speed High Stakes. Yeah, I always thought that was like the coolest one while you race and you could actually go for pink slips. Sorry about that, I yawned. I'm not even gonna edit that out. But yeah, remember we could race for pink slips, man. You lose, you lose your car. You win, you win the car. 
you lose in the race and you about to lose, you turn the button off. I admit it. Poor loser, I turned the power off. Sue me. You not getting my car. Now imagine they do that now online. I don't know if they do or don't. I haven't played a Need for Speed game really in years, but it would be cool to race somebody online for pink slips and lose. And you gotta lose your car and start back from scratch. That would be cool. I think it would be awesome. Amazing event. <laughs> hey, we can only dream. So, had us Nintendo 64 for a while. Favorite game on there was Ocarina of Time. Never beat the game. Which is funny. I never beat it. That's still one of my favorite games of all time. Never beat it. Favorite Zelda game. To me, the best Zelda game that I played because I've never played Breath of the Wild and I don't plan on playing it. I don't know. It's just it, it's calling me, but it's like, man, once I found out the weapons break, I'm like, mm, yeah. No. That mechanic, that one simple mechanic was like, no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna play it as a gamer. I had to play it. It was a game of the year nominee. They're telling me it's awesome. It's an amazing event. You have to try it. It's by far the best game there ever was. But I'm gonna try it eventually. See, we're going up the list of all my favorite games, starting from what got me into gaming. And of course, we have to talk about the Dreamcast. You thought I was gonna say the PlayStation 2, didn't you? Eh, eh, eh. The Sega Dreamcast. Which is actually, other than the PSP, I say the PSP and Dreamcast is like side by side. But Dreamcast is my favorite console of all time. And even though the PSP was a handheld, it's still a handheld gaming console. Okay. Okay, but Dreamcast was my favorite. I remember going over my homeboy Spencer house and we was playing Soul Calibur. Mind you, I played Soul Blade from the PlayStation 1. It was like, yo, this crazy. So we're sitting there playing this joint. And I'm like, yo, this remind me of Soul Blade a little bit. Yo, yo, come find out it was the sequel to the sequel. And man, yo, we used to go at it. It'd be like six, seven dudes in the house. We going around in a circle, boy. You the man, if you could go around a complete circle, beat everybody in the house, you was that no. Man, look, we had a ball, yo. We was running the gauntlet. See, these are the good memories. Good memories. Those good gaming memories. Now they had some good games. I remember I had Virtual Fighter 3, Virtual Fighter 4. It's still my favorite fighting game of all time. Tacking my shit, but Virtual Fighter 4 is my joint. I remember, boy, me and my cousin Leroy used to go back to back. But that was on the PS2 with Virtual Fighter 4. Right now, we're focusing on the Dreamcast. You know, dead or alive, running them hands back. Mink, mink, mink. Was running them hands back. Mink, mink, mink. <laughs> but after the Dreamcast, I had gotten the... GameCube had the GameCube for a while. And don't get me wrong, everybody slept on the GameCube. The GameCube had arguably some of the best games, man. Gotcha Force, which you saw in the beginning of the video. I love that. Was running back Bloody Roar 4. Running it. Yo, that was my join. Luigi's Mansion. Mario Sunshine. 
Come on, man. A lot of the third party slept on the GameCube. But the GameCube was a good console. Now, it wasn't as good as the PlayStation 2, no. But it was a good console. Now, yes, we're moving into big dog territory. Yes, PlayStation 2. Let me tell you what I had on the PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2, big dog stampy. Now, first game I got on the PlayStation 2 <laughs> was Dynasty Warriors 3. Now, they all way up to 9. Dynasty Warriors 3. And, yo, my favorite genre of games is beat em ups. Shout out to Streets of Rage 2, which I also had that on the Sega Genesis. Also known in Japan as Bare Knuckle 2. Yo, but man, yeah, I had that joint. So, to me, the Mushu game is the evolution of the beat em up. <laughs> you know, you fighting a hundred different guys with different color variations. If, that, if the Mushu ain't a modern beat em up, I don't know what it is. Shout out to Sifu, because that is a true modern beat em up. I can't wait to get that for the Switch Friday. Go on, get it. Go on, get it. But. I had Dynasty Warriors 3, and yo, I've been hooked on Dynasty Warriors since 3, all the way to 9. Do you know how many times I had to run hands with the yellow turbans? <laughs> and of course, Virtual Fighter 4 had that, me and my cousin Leroy going back to back, head to head all night long. Boy, I hated that dude in real life. I hated that dude in real life, <laughs> yo, but that's my cousin and I love him, boy. It's my day one. Yeah, we had a ball running that joint. Now, of course, it also had my favorite game, which is God Hand. An underrated gem. If you ever get the chance to play God Hand, you gotta play it. That joint is absolutely hilarious, man. It's hilarious. But yeah, I had a ball with it. Had a ball with it. The comedy is cringe now, but it, yo, it had me laughing. Then, I went a few years without a console after that. I did end up getting a, um, Wii. And the Wii was a cool console. I remember me and my cousin Zig playing the boxing game, and I knew I was getting rid of the Wii then. Because me and my cousin Zig, we sitting there playing this boxing game, and we and that motherfucker sweating like both of us and fighting in real life. And I looked at him, he looked at me, and I'm like, yeah, you ain't no need you coming back. By the time you come back, this game ain't gonna be gone. We ain't keeping it. <laughs> And I kind of get my timeline all mixed up. Then I had a uh, PlayStation 3. PlayStation 3, that's when I started playing Mass Effect. Yo, and I started out with Mass Effect 2, then went to 3. Mass Effect Fanatic. As we speak, playing through Legendary Edition so I can play back through 1, 2, Three and I even like Andromeda. I don't care. People hate Andromeda was a fun game. If it had any name other than Mass Effect attached to it, and they just delayed it a little bit and fixed up some of the issues with the faces, it would have been perfect. It just failed under the name Mass Effect. Now this is crazy. I actually had a PlayStation Four after the three. Then went to an Xbox 360 because I got it for 40 bucks from somebody. And yo, they had some good games on that. And that's when I started to fall in love with Gears of War. I've played every Gears of War ever released from beginning to end, except for Tactics. I I'm not playing Tactics, but all the rest of them, yo. 
then went to a Xbox Series S. And after the Series S, I actually got another PlayStation 4. That's when I started playing. I went to GameStop one day and was just looking for something to play. And um, it's crazy. I ended up getting Assassin's Creed Origins. Like, the guy was like, you'll like it. If you like it, da, 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 da. I'm like, man, I don't like Assassin's Creed games. I never liked any of them. But he talked me into it, and I got it, and I liked it. Now I'm on the Switch, and pretty much I'm getting everything I can. I went back through that all the, I was about to say Dark Starkers. I'm getting everything I can get. And, of course, I have my mobile phone and my tablet with all my emulators on them. So that's been like a quick journey, a quick gaming journey on how I got into gaming and what games I've been playing. Now I know this episode is a little rough, but thanks for listening to me as I ramble. I'm out.